in the world at the end of the year, nearly, <coughs> we have this cultural ritual called Christmas. As far as cultural rituals go, they don't come much more bizarre than this. Let me tell you about it. When this very old man in a red winter suit, with long white hair, long white beard, and a withered sled, and reindeers, yes, that's right, flying reindeers and sled, he comes in the middle of the night, lands on your roof, yes, breaks into your house by climbing down your chimney, and leaves a present under the pine tree you've cut down and bought inside and decorated. He does this while everybody is sound asleep, that's right, he leaves presents and he doesn't steal anything. You, you ask why down the chimney? Why not through the door of the window if you want to leave a present? You ask why? Well, it's like this. See, so, uh, it will take a couple hundred years ago. Well, Santa found the chimney too tight, too hot, decided to go through the loft window. Well, this might, this is what might happen. First, he managed to prise open the loft window and slip inside. And it could prove to be one of the servants' rooms. How could this man with wild white hair and beard and a long suit, red suit manage to explain to the poor occupant above the howls and screams of terror what he was doing climbing through their bedroom window that he meant them no harm, in fact he'd bought them a present. And it was totally free. I, I mean, would you believe it? I can't imagine they explain that one myself. So the whole fa the whole house is awake now, and Santa's cover is completely blown. Not to mention the time he spends, his time schedule, was, of course, as uh, some police explains from the constabulary. Now we'll transfer that to a modern era. Same circumstance, situation. Chimney too tight to climb down, climb through the loft, or the window close to the roof line. Remember the sled and the reindeers on the roof? Santa makes entry through the window, and all of a sudden there's this unholy screaming racket. Santa ducks for cover the reindeers on the roof, are stamping their feet and getting very nervous and threatening to fly off without Santa. Meanwhile, Santa sends, Santa's found somewhere to hide until the infernal racket stops. Nobody told Santa about modern burglar alarms. You think it couldn't get any worse? Well, by now, the lights are popping up on up and down the street. The situation goes like this. Mum, Dad and the children are asleep. Alarm goes off. Wife sits bolt upright in bed, frightened that someone or something is about to murder them in bed. Tries to wake the husband. Quick, dear, we're being burgled. Nonsense, dear. It's just Santa lost his way. But it will wake up the children and we'll never get them back to sleep. Oh, bugger. We've got to turn the damn thing off. Uh, in the houses up and down the street, houses have been told to investigate the situation and ring the police. So the four local police are now convinced they have a major crime wave on Christmas Eve in this, uh, in this area. So to add to the confusion, the wailing of police sirens, the fire brigade, uh, cars with ladders, etc., etc., up and down the street, there's a report of animals stuck on the roof and the RSPCA has been called. This, of course, takes to Santa a lot of time to convince the authorities that he truly is Santa and he's simply not a madman in a red suit or a visitation from an alien. This, of course, completely blows to Santa's cover and his time schedule, which was always tight, as he has more and more children every year. So that's why Santa comes down the chimney as simply a matter of logistics, a very simple factor. And that did